This is the private technical analysis for Fiverr.com on Stratasys. My name is Chris, almost chartered market technician. Give me two weeks. And we'll be analyzing the stock tonight. Symbol is SSYS. Okay, first off, um, I've actually kept my eye on this stock, and I was going to trade it before. Actually, uh, I was going to right in this area. I was actually going to short sell it because this pattern right here is a classic uh, head and shoulders top. Now, obviously, it broke out of that. So, first off, why wouldn't I trade this? Why wouldn't I not short this? Well, first off, I want to point out that um, that this is ranked number one in class for um, uh, by Investors Business Daily, and we can actually take a look at it right here. See right on uh, this page, if I do SSYS, it will show that's fantastic. Look at this. Fundamentally, this is an amazing company. Now, the thing is, I don't even do fundamentals, but uh, it's good. It's very good. Now, you see in this, you see a lot of green, which means that it's good for the stock. Now, the only thing that you should really look at right now is this market and correction. And we've actually seen after the uh, after the earnings gap here, it started correcting. Okay, so the market is in correction, and the stock just had pretty much a vertical move. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, first I want to draw my uh, my long term trend lines on this, and let's see. We're going to obviously have a good amount of resistance at 55, and as far as anything else yeah I'm not really seeing anything it's a beautiful uptrend uh, so this is what I think is gonna happen and this is how you go, you want to trade it this just had a vertical move the market itself is obviously correcting and if the market continues to correct this stock should also take a breather as you can see by where is it the relative strength index it's still very overbought and that's not a bad thing it just means that it might take a breather so what do I think is gonna happen as the market corrects I believe that this is going to form a a uh, flag formation which is going to imagine the price action in this range from if we just say top to bottom and it'll continue to uh, decline a little bit and volume will also decline and these patterns are never longer than three weeks long volume will continue to decline and then suddenly as the uh, stock bounces around inside this uh, formation just in this little box eventually it's going to break out to the upside and that's probably going to be when the markets finish correcting and from that point we're gonna buy so let's say for instance and I'm pretty certain this is gonna happen this happens very often on good earnings which Stratus is that's why it pretty much has been going up so what's what's the target on this first off where was the last area that last uh, resistance area broke through pretty much this trend line here so it had resistance at about 3750 so we'll start our our target line from there take it to the top of the pattern and then project it out of where we think it's going to break out which is right here and this gives us this is a very beautiful pattern if it comes to happen it gives us a target of about sixty five sixty seven dollars okay so what do you want to do you want to draw this channel just like I did and you want to wait for the stock to close above that top line then you're gonna buy and then after that you're going to set your stop level you're going to set your stop level let's see this is about a five dollar gap you're gonna set it at the last low in the formation so let's say for instance this is the actual price action and then this is the breakout right here you would set your stop 
just below here on that red line. So if it gets below there, you get out of the trade. But besides that, you hold. And you keep holding until it gets to about $65 or until um, fundamental factors change and the stock gets to get pretty nasty. But for now, that's what I'm going to say. Wait on the stock. It, it will go up. Just not yet. Wait on the stock and just take a quick glance at a couple other indicators. This is stockcharts.com. This is an alternative method of charting. Actually, no. I, I can do something better than that. Let's find where I think this is actually going to go down to. Fibonacci level. Bottom of the wave to the top. And I don't care about these lines. Okay, so where do I think it's going to decline to? Looks like we actually have a confluence zone at 4580. Let's see, between 4580 and 4429. So, based on that, and this is uh, a method of DeMarc analysis, I believe that's where the bottom of this movement is going to be. So, between 4430 and about 45, and about 4580. So, that does give us a pretty big bottoming range, but it's good to know that now is definitely not the time to buy. Alright, so we did DeMarc analysis, classical pattern analysis. The key to this don't jump the gun. You want to wait until the signal actually comes out. So don't jump the gun on this. You'll make a really good trade. If you can get up to 65 bucks and you can buy it like 50, fantastic. And actually there's a couple academic studies that say that uh, patterns like this, like earnings patterns like this, uh, momentum bursts on good earnings surprises, they actually have a tendency to move about 30% upward in the next six months. So lots of good news on this stock but wait it out.